So this is the fresh random sieve picker. Now the first question you might ask, why is this needed? Since the game already has less, lets you pick a random sieve. Well, in the game, there's always the risk that you will get the exact same sieve which you played two games ago, even though you pick random instead of full random. Uh, with this app, that's not a chance. So once you have pulse, you are never ever going to get pulse again until you've iterated through all the sieves. And also, this is customizable sieve pool, so you can customize the sit with these checkboxes. Also, batch toggle them with by DLC or uh, additions if you want that. It's also possible to uh, save preset if you want, like this exact save pre preset, you can save it. And then, like, whenever it is whatever and you want to rem uh, get that exact preset, you can load it and it will be exactly the way it was. I've also put some uh, presets like Arbalest sieves and it will only enable Arbalest sieves or only Elephant sieves and it will only enable Elephant sieves. And uh, yeah, and this is what it remembers. So when you close the program and you open the program again, it remembers the exact state it was in. And uh, you can also toggle that off if you want to, if you want to just reset each time. And also you can pick to draw sieve on startup. So once you, it will draw automatically as soon as you start it. Uh, there's a tech tree button, and this one updates automatically with whichever sieve you've drawn, just like in the in the old game. And this links to the website by the siege engineers for like we drew Koreans, we click the tech tree button, we get the tech tree for Koreans. Uh, of course, that feature requires an internet connection, otherwise this whole app works uh, just fine. Uh, you can join a lobby, um, and this also only takes a lobby commands, so it doesn't take any other shell executions. So this is basically just as the um, uh, the Windows uh, run prompt works the same, except this one requires the AOE2DE uh, prefix. Uh, with my program, you can also just put numbers and it will work fine. And it will only accept uh, lobby codes. Uh, you can see the log here. Uh, what else? So in options, we also have save jingles. So if you want to hear save jingles. And I also put the legacy ones if you want those instead. There's also UI sounds, if you want UI sounds. You can also toggle that off if you want to. And then you can also toggle any of these, like the label icon. Um, so if you want to like play, play a quiz with your friends, like what jingle and icon this is, and then you can just toggle the label. So you can also just use a trivia if you want. Uh, or what does the icon look like? like of the of Portuguese and you can toggle that one off or on or off. Um, so yeah, and then also I just linked a bunch of stuff like the game page. Oh yeah, there's, you can also undraw sieves, like if I regret... If I regret, uh, I can just go back with Control Z and I can also redraw the one I undrew. Also this... Um, program has hotkeys for everything so you can control this entire program virtually only by hotkeys if you choose to as you can see yeah so it's quite easy you can just escape or exit the program and if you have it pinned for instance in a taskbar and one you like windows key one will open it and you can have the option to draw and start up, so yeah, just Windows key 1, and then you get the fresh random sieve, and then you can ex exit with escape. And of course, this will remember uh, once you have this actually automatic sieve pool logging on, it will remember. So even though you close the program, it remembers that it drew two sieves and draws and on a third sieve, so it remembers the log. Yeah, so that's the fresh random sieve picker, and you can try it out. Uh, I will put the link in the video description if you want to try this out for yourself as well. Alright, thanks for watching.